This video is over factoring applications. It's going to ask you to fill in the missing terms in the box, find the factors and the product. Okay, well here's the box here. Now what you're trying to do is you're trying to find these missing blanks. So, for example, we know that you're supposed to take this times this to get what's inside here. Well, 2x times what gives you x squared? 2 times 1 gives you 2. x times x gives you x squared, so it's it's x. Now I wouldn't normally write the 1x, I'd just write an x. Negative 2 times, I'm sorry, 2 times negative 1 is negative 2x. 1 times what? Well, I don't have these two blanks, so I have to look here. For this square right here, negative 1 times what gives me 3? Well, that's a negative 3, because negative 1 times negative 3 gives me a positive 3. Now it asks me to write the factors in the product. The factors are what's outside. So for the factors, I would write 2x minus 3 times x minus 1. The product is all of what's inside of here. Oh, I left an empty space here. x times negative 3 is negative 3x. So to find my product, remember these two squares go together, I get 2x squared minus 5x plus 3 and that's your answer. Okay, so let's try the next one. There's your information. Pause the video and try and find your factors and your product. Well here, I have x squared. x times x is x squared. To fill in this box, we have x times negative 3, which is negative 3x. Now I don't have these two, so I do have this and I have what's up here. Negative 3 times what is negative 21? That's in negative 7. Well, now I have my factors, which is x minus 7 times x minus 3. Now, to find my product, oh, I didn't do this box again. 7, negative 7 times x is negative 7x. I put these x's right here together. Remember, you're adding them. So I get x squared minus 10x minus 21. So the next one, there's the next one. Pause the video, come back and see how you did after you, after you try and find your answer. 2x times what gives you 4x squared? 2 times 2 gives you 4x times x, so 2x goes out here. Well, 2x times what gives you 8x? Okay, this right here should be a plus 4 because 2 times 4 is 8. Now, 4 times what gives you negative 12? That should be a negative 3. Now let's fill in in here. 2x times negative 3 is negative 6x. My factors are what's on the outside. 2x minus 3 times 2x plus 4. My product, let's add these together inside here. And I have 4x squared plus 2x minus 12. Remember, 8 minus 6 because 8 plus a negative 6 is a positive 2. Okay, here's the next one to try. Pause the video and come back and see how you do. Here, x times what gives you 3x squared? This should be 3x. x times negative 2 is negative 2x. Negative 2 times what gives you negative 6? Well, that's a positive 3. 3x times 3 is 9x. Remember, my factors are on the outside, so I have x plus 3 times 3x minus 2. Now my product is what's on the inside, so let's add these together right here, and I get 3x squared, 9 minus 2 is 7, so I have 7x minus 6. That's my answer. Now the other type of problems that we've had before is the area of a rectangular bulletin is x squared plus 16x minus 36 square inches. They want you to find the length and the width, and then what is the perimeter? Well, to find the length and the width, we need to do the box. And we need to factor. I know that x squared goes here in the top corner. I know negative 36 goes down here in the bottom left. Then I have something x and something x. Well, a is 1, b is 16, C is negative 36. 
a times c. 1 times negative 36 is negative 36. I need the factors of negative 36 that give me 16. I don't know if this is going to work here. Let's see here. If this is negative 36 and 1, I've got negative uh, 12 and 3, um, negative 6 and negative 6, no, not negative, but a positive 6. Um, I'm trying to think here, a positive 16. Well, let's look. Because <clears throat> even if it was you and you got stuck, I would go in here and put in my calculator negative 36 divided by x, second graph, and I need a positive 16. Oh, there it is. I didn't even think about that. Negative 2 and 18. So I'll go up here and I'll put negative 2 and 18. Now x squared splits up as x and x. x times what gives you 18x plus 18. x times what gives you negative 2x as a negative 2. So my length and my width is x minus 2 times x plus 18. Now for your perimeter, remember we have x minus 2. That means this side is x minus 2. x plus 18 x plus 18. I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 4 x's, so my perimeter, I'll write it down here, 4 x, and then I have 18 minus 2, that's 16, that means this over here is 16, 16 and 16 is 32, so I have plus 32. So my perimeter is 4 x plus 32. Okay, the last one, well, maybe, if I can turn the page. Here's what we have. It says the area of a rectangular garden is 4x squared plus 13x plus 3 square inches. What is the length and width in terms of x, and what is the perimeter? Well, let's do the box to find the length and the width. I know that the first term goes up here in the upper left-hand corner. The last term goes down here. I have something x something x. A is 4, B is 13, C is 3. So now I go A times C. 4 times 3 is 12. I need the factors of 12 that add up together to give me 13. Well, that's 12 and 1, but even if you didn't know that, you go in the calculator, put in there 12 divided by x, second graph, and you can look in the table to find them. Now, I'm going to put the 12x, 12 here and the 1 here. It really doesn't matter. You can switch it up. What does matter is when we go to find the GCF. Right here, out of these two boxes, the GCF is an x. So that means the 4x goes up here. x times what is 1x? Plus 1. 4x times what is 12x? Plus 3. Well, here's my length and my width. I have x plus 3 times 4x plus 1. And it doesn't matter which one's length, which one's width. And so if I went to go find the perimeter, I will redraw this just because it might be easier for me to see without the, out all the other numbers. And now to find the perimeter. Remember, you add up all the sides. 4, 8, 9, 10. The perimeter is 10x, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, plus 8. So the perimeter is 10x plus 8.